standing in California. <laughs> now, you probably think, but Craig, 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 I know it's raining in California, but you're indoors. Won't you be safe in your fancy Hollywood studio? <laughs> you don't know enough about me. Come, look at this. You can't see the lighting rig because it's uh, badly lit, but the... Uh, is pouring into the studio, but I'm going to do the show anyway. And you know why? Because I'm an American. <laughs> That's why. That's right. I'll tell you something. When it rains in France, all the crap shows go off the air. <laughs> when it rains in Britain and Switzerland and other countries. Where it rains. Belgium, it rains all the time there. <laughs> That's why waffles were invented, so that people could have a foodstuff that also worked as a dwelling. <laughs> anyway, it's raining here, and there's a big... Uh, I'm going to do the show anyway. That, and uh, I think there may be someone who, uh, who's had something to do with getting all this water into the studio. <laughs> it's funny how we didn't have a leak before and when I went up to look at the leak, it had bite marks. <laughs> well, it won't work because this is fresh water and you can only survive in seawater. Ah, you didn't think of that, did you? <laughs> Get off. Anyway, we're going to do the show. Brace yourselves, everyone. This could be damp. That's it. Eyes front, eyes front. Shh, quiet. <laughs> oh, thanks for being so quiet all of a sudden. All right, all right, all right. Nothing. <laughs> You're going to stand out if you start enjoying yourself now, sir. It's a great day for America, everybody. Not such a great day for us here in the glamorous land of show business. <laughs> can't tell by looking out the window, <laughs> but it's raining here in Los Angeles, and guess what? Even although I have the best studio in television, <laughs> it's leaking. <laughs> have you no shame, CBS? Have you no shame? <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> a clue. I'm originally from Scotland and I came to live in California. Can you guess why? <laughs> Can you guess why? <laughs> I'll press through. I'll press through. We'll, we'll push on. We'll do the show anyway. And you know why? Because why not? <laughs> it's only rain. <laughs> Although I am a bit scared. <laughs> Not of rain, just, you know, I'm just a bit scared, generally. <laughs> anyway, it's a great day for us here in, in California. <laughs> I can't believe, I thought when I quit drinking, I would stop playing places with buckets on the floor. <laughs> Good Lord! Isn't it, doesn't it kind of make you wonder what the advertising dollars are spent on? <laughs> 
Hey, and you know what? Nothing says a recession in America like late night talk shows getting soaked during the show. <laughs> you cheap bastards! <laughs> we'll carry on. Don't worry. It's it, the show will suck just as much as usual. <laughs> It'll just be. You see, can you see this? <laughs> Anyway, it's a great day for us. It's not at all. Hey, everybody's feeling it. Uh, Obama's feeling it in Washington as well. Another one of his nominees has the tax issues, which proves one thing, that while the Democrats like raising the taxes, they hate paying them, clearly. And Sarah, Palin's back, uh, Sarah Palin's back in the news as well. She's been criticizing anonymous bloggers. She called them pathetic. Apparently she feels that unknown people should not be criticizing politicians unless the unknown person is running for vice president. Then it's all right. <laughs> you really don't give a rat's ass about me, do you? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's bad here in California. The studios have fallen apart. The unemployment here is the worst it's been in 25 years. Here's how bad the unemployment situation is in Hollywood. Right now, people are begging to work with Christian Bale. They're, they want to. <laughs> I'm sure, I'll take it, Batman. Yeah! You're right, Christian. I am one of those. Anyway, it's a, it's a very exciting day for us here. Clearly, the, the roof is falling in, which nothing says day four of Magic Week like the roof falling in. The Magic Week graphic, please. Yeah! And maybe, maybe for Magic Week, I can have a rabbit come out of the plastic bucket. Do you know what's so great? They don't even get a show business bucket. When it, look, it's just a plastic bucket from the paint store. It's not even like they could put some paper on it, wrap it up, some tinsel or something, glitter. <laughs> Do we have a really crappy bucket? I bet you when in the Price is Right studio, when they have a leak, they have a fantastic bucket. They'll have a great big, they'll have a bucket brought in from Egypt or something. Now, this may, you may think, well, this is the biggest news story today. Clearly, this roof falling in. It's not. It's not. The biggest news story today is not Obama fixing the economy, not us, the roof coming in here, not the banks all going out. The biggest story today is there's a giant snake in Colombia. <laughs> it is true, there's a headline. Do we have the headline now? You are a fo oh, fossil of a giant snake. Yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> it's not a real snake. It's just a fossil of a snake. It's not a real studio, it's just a fossil of a studio. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about the snake. But what, <laughs> there's one thing snakes like, it's dry weather. <laughs> now, so I wanted to talk to you about this snake, although I don't have any time left because I've been complaining too much about the ceiling. But scientists are saying that this uh, fossilised uh, remains of this snake, the snake was, uh, by measuring it, this snake was the size of a city bus. He said. They don't say what kind of bus or what city, so, which is odd because LA's got tiny little short buses, but uh, Amsterdam has huge giant buses that fit those. Which one, scientists? Maybe you shouldn't be studying snake bones. Maybe you should be finding roof technology that actually works. Yeah, I really was looking forward to talking about snakes. I don't feel like it anymore. <laughs> really wanted to go with my big old snake. I would think, oh, I've got lots of things to say about snakes. I can't concentrate. I may drown. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe this. <laughs> I can believe it, actually. This is not a joke. This is really leaking. And no, nobody said to me at any point, do you want to not do the show? <laughs> nobody said, oh, Craig, we've got a dangerous leak in the studio. Do you know how much electrical equipment is in here? <laughs> do you know? Do we have a fire marshal? Do we even have one? <laughs> that guy in the uniform, I could tell he was not a real fire marshal. He's got assless chaps on. That's not a fire marshal.
I'm not saying he's not adorable. I'm just saying he's, he's not a proper fire marshal. This is, look, I could be, I could be, I could be killed. And there's a studio audience here. No, 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 that's all right. You're expendable, but me? I'm in show business. Come on. <laughs> I really was going to talk about snakes. I don't have time now. I've complained too much about the hole in the roof of the television studio. You know, as the big late night shake-ups, you know, when Conan goes to 11.30 for Jay and Jay's going to 10 o'clock and everybody gets moved around and all that. Could we have a roof fixed? <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the biggest budget show in late night television. <laughs> Welcome back to our extravaganza, where it's a night of a thousand stars, the special effects. The... <laughs> you th this is not a joke. I mean, these people are laughing, but they're laughing in derision. They are laughing, they're not laughing with me, they are laughing, they're not even laughing at me, they're just laughing to keep their spirits up because they are damned. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding, look at this. Look, 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 this is the bucket, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh my, what the hell is that? Space boogers, what the hell? <laughs> so I've got to have all my cups all over the place. Do you notice how this cup is bigger than that cup? It's like a bra. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's, now, this is true. This is true. All the ladies know this, and a few of the lucky gentlemen. It's very rare that they're both the same size, isn't it? It's very rare. And what I think is amazing and a miracle of nature is that throughout the month they can, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a few guys in the audience like, I never noticed that. Well, maybe that's because you're not paying enough attention. Maybe if you would listen a little bit more. Spend a little more time upstairs before rushing downstairs. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I could say the same to the uh, CBS maintenance personnel. A little more time upstairs. <laughs> a little less time downstairs where all the fun's happening. Drew Carey's down there laughing, guy guessing the average retail price of things, staying dry. <laughs> Do you know what I think is great about CBS? We have shows where beautiful actors can solve murders. Murders! They can solve murders using DNA and sexiness. And... <laughs> we have that technology, but we can't keep out... Oh! Skywater! Skywater! <laughs> falling on us! <laughs> Do you think back in the day of the, of the Mercury program, do you think Americans were getting damp indoors then? <laughs> do you think we could have defeated the Nazis while being damp? <laughs> well, yeah, probably, but that's not the point. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the good, the good, what one did I pour the, uh... <laughs> The good thing is, it gives me something to talk about. Because if you ever watch this show with any regularity, and if you are, you're a damn fool, but they, uh, it, you will know that uh, most nights it's a bit of a stretch trying to get anything to say. Like, but this is kind of like the night, remember when Dick Cheney shot his lawyer in the face? Now that's the kind of night I live for. It's not quite that, but it's, uh, it's nearly as bad. 
<laughs> I haven't got any time to do any of the things I was meant to do. So we'll take a break and we'll be right back with scheduled programming, everybody. We'll be right back. I'm just Cinderella cleaning up. <laughs> you go off to the ball, have a good time, ugly sisters. I'll just be here cleaning up. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I won't go on about it. Uh, do we have time for the emails tonight, do we? Oh, yeah. Magic emails. Magic emails. Welcome back, everybody. That was fun. Um... <laughs> So we've got the emails then. We'll try and get through them. They're a bit soggy, um, but we'll see. Here they are. All right. Um, uh, this is from Eli in Bridgeport in May. May. Michigan. Bridgeport's not in Michigan. It's in Maine. No, it's MI. What's MI? Mississippi? Michigan. I said Michigan, you damn fool. No. Never mind sitting there picking holes in what I'm doing. Go up and fix the damn room. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't let it affect my performance. <laughs> this is from Eli in Bridgeport. Um, he says some stuff. Uh, <laughs> this is from Glenn in Burbank. Oh, yes, Burbank, a very swanky area of, uh, of Los Angeles where people keep dry during the rain. <laughs> With their accommodation. Uh, Glenn says, hey, Craig, the other night you said half-hearted. My wife insisted that you said I farted. Was her assumption correct? Well, you know, this may come as a surprise to you, Glenn and Burbank, but I don't keep a diary of every time I fart. <laughs> I don't write it down. I went, oh, four o'clock, silent and deadly. <laughs> 6 p.m. Fabulous. <laughs> But I think I know the night you're talking about, and yes, your wife is correct. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is from Dixie in Center Reach, Long Island, in New, in New York. Center Reach, Long Island. This one is actually soaking wet. <laughs> but Long Island's by the coast, so maybe that's why it happened. Dixie says, hey, Craig, could you please say, Dixie can't come to the phone right now, so I can use it on my answering machine. <laughs> answering machine? Who has an answering machine now? <laughs> an answering machine? Well, I hope you turn on your answering machine when you're listening to the gramophone. Uh, <laughs> do you remember answering machines used to be huge? You don't get that. It's just on your phone now, isn't it? With the new iPhones, uh, you know, it just does... It, I've got the newest iPhone. When somebody calls up, it determines through your brainwaves whether you like them or not. <laughs> so, you know, and it will answer accordingly. It'll say, hang on, he's, he'll be right to the phone, or, oh, it's you. <laughs> I'm... I'm kidding, I can't afford an iPhone. Uh, um, this is uh, from Whitney in Auburn in Alabama. I like Alabama. Um, it's uh, often dry. Um, <laughs> hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. Whitney? Is Whitney a guy's name? Or, who cares? I'm European. I, uh, <laughs> Hey, handsome, I am a student at Auburn University. If you were to go to college, what would you major in? 
Um, I think I would major in um, roof repair, construction. <laughs> A growth industry is what I'm looking for. All right, we'll be right back with Gary Shandling, everybody. with the prince. I'd love to dance with the prince. I could have danced all night. But poor old Cinderella was here. <laughs> uh, I actually, I'm trying to clean up about this because my next guest, very, very famous comedy icon, huge star, and I would really hate for him to fall and break his spine <laughs> on the floor coming out. Please welcome, and I hope he survives it, the wonderful Gary Shandling, everybody, Gary Shandling. Are you all right? Welcome, Gary. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, it's nice to see you too, guys. Thank you for coming. I, I'm going to be honest. If you yeah? come to visit me, I'm not going to be mopping. I don't care at any time. <laughs> I think that was so sweet of you. I don't, I've never been on a talk show where anybody actually cleaned up in any way. So I, I'm... <laughs> let, me, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been on a talk show that leaked? I've never... For, uh, first of all, you've been hilarious. I don't think you, you need a guest. I don't want to get in the way. No, 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 please. I mean... Were I producing the show, I'd have you run over and sit down here and then run no, back. No, 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 nobody wants that. Because you've that. been fantastic, really. And uh, uh, it's, it's, how do you do that every night? You did tw no, the no, monologue, no. then you did, and then you did the ma manual labor. <laughs> and you're not, you're, you're not illegal, are you? You're a legal citizen now, right? I am a citizen so now. So you got to, you got to, so you're doing, <clears throat> are you getting paid for that job? At minimum Are wage, you paying yeah. taxes on both jobs? No, I'm a Democrat. Because you're... You're a Democrat, and that's what you said, is that you don't pay taxes, yeah, I just... because the Democrats, whatever that was, that was all funny, and then you got into Sarah Palin, who I believe thinks she's getting seven million to read a book, not write a book. <laughs> so, uh, so you became a citizen, yes, and you got married. Uh, and, not the same day. No, but, did you, so you passed the brain scan? Because, let me have a talk you with you. you have a brain scan? <laughs> Well, you're putting yourself in a position together to be penniless. <laughs> you become a citizen of the United States, yeah, so that's yeah. good. We can take all our money and put it in the bank that is uh, guaranteed by the federal government. Uh, see where you're going with this. Yeah. yeah, and then you've got the wife. Yeah. Well, she's lovely, though. I like her. And she You like her? I, yeah. Well, that's a nice wedding vow. I... <laughs> I like her. That was the I actual... like her because I'm a talk show host. No, I... I can't feel much more than like... Please, no. I'm sorry. Did you mop up at the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little bit. I, you, know, I, 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 you know, I plumped some cushions. That stays between us. Uh, all right, then. Yeah. That part. And the wife doesn't need to know you plumped the cushions you, either. No. So try and cut that part out. We can't cut anything out of here. We don't even have a roof that works. We don't have that... We don't have editing technology. This is what you see is what you get here. I think you're leaking hair product. <laughs> no, it's all, it's all still there. This is to protect my hair. This is, there's so much here, when the water hits I it, understand. it rolls right off. Oh, I get... It's a bit like a duck-billed platypus's fur. <laughs> I get a wax just so the water beads up. Is that what you're talking about, basically? What kind of wax? Let's, okay, let's just skip that. Let's talk about... You don't need me here. You can answer your own questions. Wouldn't that be something if we didn't need each other? What kind of show would that be? Um, better? No, it would be horrible. I, no, I wouldn't on. sit here alone. We wouldn't have this... No, ask the... I think we're right that this chemistry is working, yeah, isn't it? actually, I think it is. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Because uh, uh, I'm happy to make an adjustment if it's not, if, you're, if this is uncomfortable in any way. No, but... You're all right. No, I'm good. Actually, I haven't I noticed how lovely... Have you got green eyes? Oh, don't... 
I'm telling you, your wife might be watching. You know when Obama no, no, said... Not now we're married, you won't watch. No. Well, I, I really thought of this yesterday when Obama said, I screwed up, and he came right out and he said, I screwed up. You know what that means? That means his wife, Michelle, said... You he just brought it down. He brought a it notch. down a notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he still had to. You've got that do fist bump. I wish you'd brought it down a notch, actually. There. I didn't know you knew that I had it up. <laughs> oh my! I, I think I would notice. Well, you're. <laughs> I feel controlled. I feel like you're controlling me because first you said, um, we don't need you, we don't need each other, and, I, and I'm straight, so I'm not making any of this up. Oh yeah, I'm straight, the old Hollywood I'm straight. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know what that refers to, uh, but... I, no I'm thanks. straight, but I'm gay for rabbits. All right, well. Well, I have a snake story, speaking of that. Snakes, you st <laughs> snakes, you say? <laughs> I just really knew anything about see. snakes. You, I, I'll, I'll stop and you just tell me what you'd like. Um. I feel like I've come on and... No, 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 you're, you're right. And interrupted I, the mob. No, 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 no. I, I'd like you to talk to me about the snakes. I, f I feel awful. <laughs> I'm serious. Do you, do you ever warm up by talking to someone else in between the monologue? Like, because it's so fantastic I re that this is... Uh, no, people are enjoying this. I think this is... <laughs> I think you need this, this uh, color in there. I think this is right. He had to go up from there and come around, and it's still been fantastic. But I had a... I play basketball every uh, week at my house. You don't play basketball, you're more than invited, but I don't know that you play because you're from Scotland. Yeah, we don't play it. Yeah. Too, too wet. Do you have any troops in... Uh... <laughs> well, we play when it's dry, but... Um... Yeah. <laughs> See, I get mad at the weatherman for not taking responsibility on television when he says it's going to be sunny and then it rains the next day, and he never comes on that day and says, hey, I, I screwed, screwed up. up. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know when the weatherman says, I screwed up, that means his wife has said to him, hey, you, you got that wrong, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I wanted to ask you, in all seriousness, uh, do you have a snake, uh, a pet snake, or one of your snake of your own, or maybe do you rent them, or, or do you have any snakes? See, there's no, this audience needs to know that you, you have approved, uh, waterboarding has been approved for these pre-interviews. <laughs> Because I said, I really have nothing to say. And then they took me down and said, you've got to come up with something. I said, right. I have nothing to say. And down no, no, under the no, water. Yeah, yeah. And then I finally said, well, we can talk about the snake. Right. <laughs> would, would, you, would you like a snake? I'm not offering. I'm just, I, I, live, just wanna... I, I play basketball, uh, which, you're, as I said, you're, then you got off on some. See, I'm sorry. Yeah. You, you mop. I know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no one's going to throw you the ball. So, um... Well, I wouldn't be able to catch it. I'd be mopping anyway, wouldn't I? Yeah. I give you such credit for the process that you've gone through from the time you started hosting and the... You had to learn the language and everything. It's fantastic. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. My friend Jack Cohen, uh, who writes for The Tonight Show, do you know Jack at all? He's the monologue writer for The Tonight Show, and uh, yeah. he plays basketball with us. Yeah. You don't know Jack Cohen? Yeah, sure, I know Jack. <laughs> hey, could we do Dixie's voicemail? I got an idea. Oh, yeah, Could you okay, say, yeah. I'm not, this is Craig Ferguson, and I'm not, and then I'll all show right. you. All right, so I, I say it for Dixie's yeah, voicemail? Yeah, because she wants it for voicemail. All right, then, so, uh, hey, this, Dixie's not home, leave a message? You want me to say yeah, that? Yeah, say it. All right. Dixie's not home, please leave a message. Oh, you should say that to Craig Ferguson. All right. Really? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it again. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll do it. So, did I say Craig Ferguson at the beginning or at the That's end? That's your call. All right. <laughs> Hello, this is Craig Ferguson. Dixie's not at home. Please leave a message. Hi, this is Gary Shandling. Dixie's not here. Uh, call back. Now she sounds like a slut. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, maestro. <laughs> Very good. We're completely out of time, Gary. That's not my fault. No, I know. I know. <laughs>
It's <laughs> true. You're a good man. This was a lot of fun. It Thanks was for a lot of fun. I, I, I'd like to come on and talk about the uh, world and the economy uh, next week, maybe. Well, uh, if we have the roof fixed, we'll still be here. I, I'd love you to come back. You should go and get a bailout. I'd like to see you sit in front of Congress saying... <laughs> roof is leaking. <laughs> my roof is leaking on my audience. And see if you can get a couple billion. It, it, it may come to that. I'm It'll serious. Make, yeah, it may, it may come to that. Just, you, you put that, take that money and uh, keep it because I've just been melting everything. All the, a woman left her earrings at my house and called. <laughs> and you melted them down? I had already melted them down. Well, they must have been in... It must have been enormous everything. earrings to well, get. Well, I mean, they're, they, you was know. Was she, was she, uh, uh, I it, have a, I have a smelter in my house. I, smelter. Just, <laughs> I have smelter. a home smelter. A home smelter. Yeah, I was, I was going to get one of those. I saw them, you can get them uh, if you get the, uh, the I got the George Dazzler. Foreman home yeah. smelter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It used to be, what you got to do is, uh, I never liked women who wore jewelry. Now I just say, you know, <laughs> you know they come over and uh, <laughs> since this is magic week, you'll understand this. I make the fake move for like, I'm going for the big thing, but then I just knock the jewelry off. Nice. And then, yeah. And then I just put it in the home smelter. <laughs> This is Gary Shandling for the Home Smelter. The Home Smelter was Gary Shandling, everybody. Where were I was? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We, uh, welcome back to the show. We didn't get the roof fixed, but CBS got me an umbrella. Apparently, there were no straight umbrellas left, so they got me the gayest umbrella in the world. <laughs> but later on tonight, I'll be performing selections from Madame Butterfly. <laughs> Isn't it bad luck to put one of these up indoors? And then I think to myself, how more unlucky could I get? <laughs> anyway. It's the fourth day of Magic Week, and after what we've seen already this week, I'm worried that some viewers may have magic hangover. <laughs> but you better snap out of it, because tonight you're going to see the power and the brains behind Magic Week. Here to tell you more about it is my friend, Neil Patrick Harris, everyone. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> There's an old Romanian saying, he who lives by the crystal ball is destined to eat broken glass. <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, what is wrong with these Romanians? Why are they smashing and then eating the very crystal balls they purportedly live by? Can't they use the mystical power of the crystal ball to see the future? And one could assume the serious health consequences of eating broken glass? I mean, if their mouths weren't full of jagged shards of glass, these Romanians could look into their crystal balls and see that I'm hosting the Magic Castle Awards on March 8th, Sunday, here in Los Angeles. The Magic Castle has a website, check it out. Not a plug, but whatever. <laughs> Whatever, because truth be told, Romanians suck at magic anyway. So they can eat all the broken glass that they want to. But tonight's guest doesn't suck at magic, even though he's known as the misfit of magic. Please welcome my best friend, Ed Alonzo. <laughs> I'm a party pooper. <laughs> oh, well, this has been a great magic week. You Thank had some you. great yes. guests. Thanks, Ed. You've, you've been the brains behind it. I know you engineered all the tricks. I, I did, and you know what? I, um, I saw earlier in the week you had some card magic, so I wanted to bring something a little different. This is, these are the flashcards that the kids use to learn the names of the animals. Pigs, goats, there's turkeys, horses, bears, fleas, cows, gerbils, whole zoo. Reach in, Craig. Take any animal that you want to, but don't let me see it. My job is to figure out the cards, to so look at it, and then show everyone in the audience tonight. The can I show the folks at home? Yes, and well, the people don't you look at the monitors yes. then. All Every, right. You got, they're, they're, okay, now put the duck card back in. <laughs> Magic, thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Magic. Okay, that, that wasn't too good. Let's make it a little more challenging, something more exciting. Here's what I'm going to do. Tonight, I will attempt to locate your card in a dramatic way. But first, jack it off. 
I will attempt to find your card while I'm escaping from this regulation straitjacket. Hello. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I thought it was a bigger deal. It's no, okay. No, no, it's not. Anymore. Maybe you expected the Houdini water torture cell. <laughs> you just want to see the geek drown, right? <laughs> we saw that already. Yeah. <laughs> The Houdini formal straight jacket. Houdini called it that because he wore this to formal occasions. All right, so, yeah, yeah. All right. Now let's take the cards and uh, put them in the sleeve. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going right to be in the jacket right. and try and find the card. But you'll see it's a regular straight jacket. I've, I've never seen one. I have seen many. <laughs> yes. It's a pair, yes, it's very familiar. All right. Now I'm going into the jacket just like this. And then um, here's where I need your assistance. Start you at the collar. Yeah, put the buckle, belt. Uh, put, it, put it all together. That's it. Okay. Put the together. safety word is banana. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's a completely different area That's of my different life. Show. <laughs> and then work your way. Then when you're done with those, the arm sleeves, they're triple stitched, riveted, sewn shut. My hands can't come out to help in the escape. All These right. are going to be pulled around to the backside in a moment, and then you'll lock them up uh, super tight where, back there. Where, uh, oh, there's another strap. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to the bonus round. <laughs> this one goes, ooh, hello. Yeah. This, you don't have to grab that one. Oh, I don't? No, I'll oh, swing it to you. All right, then, yeah. Right. You are getting sleepy. Yeah, all right, all sleepy. right. Sleepy. Okay, grab it. There it is. Got it. Hello. All right, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Right. I think you found... Now, put that through the buckle there. What, on the, the back. this one? Wait, oh, you got the wrong one. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, does this look natural to you? <laughs> no, but it looks familiar. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I look like George Michael in a public restroom. Oh, don't no, I? stop. I'm not, it's, whoop, there it is. Right. Okay. That's the long, thin right, one that, in the middle. That, right, I got that one. Right, <laughs> right that goes are, on this one, right? Your hands are cold. Now put that through. The, oh, there's a new notch. That's nice. Yeah, all right. Good. All right. Now grab this one, bring right. it over to this side. Oh, I see. This is yes. the last one. This is, now, where would a fella get himself one of these jackets? Uh, you, have to, <laughs> you have to be crazy. These are for the mentally insane. All right, there all you right. go. I've, Perfect, uh, all... I'm all tied up. All right, now, as I said, I will try and find the card, get out of the jacket, and I'm ready to go. A little dramatic music, please. Okay, here it is. Tight. It feels tighter. Maybe the shrinkage from the water is coming. <laughs> I think we learned on the show tonight just how valuable I am to the CBS Corporation. Uh, but Ed Alonzo was here. He's in uh, Masters of Illusion, which is Monday night, so on my network TV, which is a, a very, uh, a new idea in broadcasting. The shows are done indoors with dryness all around. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.